your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Tenoyer. And Jeff, you and I were talking about this earlier. Things are already starting to bloom, and I know because I'm getting stuffed up. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. we're actually going to talk about the allergies <laughs> right now. I have uh -huh. a graphic just for you coming up, Sean. And yeah, boy, you think about it. Go back this week. You know, we had temperatures in the 80s, you know, Wednesday and Thursday. We obviously got back to a more February feel Friday and for the weekend. But boy, it was really warm, and the month has been very warm, too. Athens right now waking up. A lot of clouds, not as much fog here in Athens, but, you know, other areas not not as fortunate. The fog area kind of expanding a bit now started earlier this morning in Albertville and Coleman and now starting to branch out towards Decatur and up towards Leoma. The shoals foggy for you, Molten, Town Creek. So just take it easy this morning. I mean, fog, you know, reduces visibility briefly, but you get caught in some of that really dense fog. It can make it really tough to navigate in the dense fog advisory in place until 9 a.m. Speaking of fog and rain and clouds, we've had our fair share the last couple of days and there is some rain out there, but see where it is. Here's Pulaski. Here's Athens. Here's Huntsville. This is north and it's moving to the east, so it's not headed towards us. So we'll get a break from the rainfall, but we've had plenty of rain the last couple of days. But the good news about that, Sean was saying he's sneezing with the allergies, right? It actually helps us out in the pollen count. It reduces it for a bit today and tomorrow before returning for Tuesday and Wednesday. But a little bit of a break. If you're an allergy sufferer and you get a little rain, you can wash a little bit of that pollen away and you get a break from sneezing, even if it's just for one day is a nice break to have, right? Temperatures around 50 degrees waking up this morning. The hot spot, Fort Payne and Scottsboro, duking it out at 55. Cooler in Leoma at 49. I think all locations will have a chance to go 60s today, even with fog in the morning and clouds in the afternoon and the lack of sunshine. Going to the day on Monday, even warmer. Lots of 70s for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but all three days not created equal because Monday will be a windy and showery day. Tuesday is gorgeous. Wednesday features more rain. Temperatures fall 60s Thursday, Friday. That's when we target heavy rainfall in the forecast for the end of the week and then eventually cooling off for next weekend. Your big picture shows another round of temperature fluctuations. We're up and we're down, and that usually happens this time of year, especially as we start to end winter and begin spring. Wind advisory. A lot of wind usually accompanies those changes too, and we'll have that for Monday. Again, the wind advisory is not for today. This is for Monday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. for gust 35 to 45 miles per hour. And it comes with a little bit of shower activity for Monday, but the overall big picture for tonight, tomorrow, into the early part of the week is not a tremendous amount of rain, but I show you the five day totals, right? And you see this red. And what's the red mean? three to five inches. Well, if we're not getting a lot of rain tonight and tomorrow, when is this rain getting here? Well, that's that rainfall we're targeting from middle to the end of the week. So after some showers and wind on Monday, dry Tuesday, here's your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it's going to rain and it's going to come down heavy by the end of the week. Right now, the severe threat looks low, but we're tracking that here at 48. Certainly a heavy rain event. If it becomes more, we'll keep you updated once the rain moves out, cooling off for the following weekend.